welcome to round four of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of June 6th. I'm Katherine Haleko, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Nicole Eredix. Hi there. As moms of teens and young adults, we've survived those little kid days, yet we're still rethinking the decisions we've made all through our kids' lives and worrying about what's going on right now. Today's Thursday, which means it's time to give in to our obsessing. So today we're revisiting an episode where we obsessed about camp for moms. Because why should kids have all the fun? Today we are talking about mom camp. Uh, Last week, we talked about how Catherine's son was away at camp with no phone, having that camp experience, and it got me thinking, that sounds kind of (laughs) nice. What if there were a camp made for moms? Instead of sending your kid to camp, you get to go to camp, and they Uh have to, your spouse has to be in charge. Um, At first, I thought, well, you know what? A week of mom camp, just give me a nice comfy bunk and, uh, you know, let me know when the week is up. And I will catch up on all my sleep, but that'd be boring. And then I thought, well, maybe it's just a camp for catching up on all the TV that I have been missing, that people have been talking about that I haven't had time to watch. Um, You know, if they had a nice viewing room that also had crafts, so I would have something to do while I was doing it, Mm -hmm. that could be cool. Mm -hmm. Make yourself a little beaded lanyard. Yes, exactly. While watching Schitt's Creek. So, Mm -hmm. um, you know, that'd be cool. Uh, But then I got to thinking of some other activities I might like to have at mom camp. Um, One might be if they had very polite, very knowledgeable and well-spoken young people who could explain technical things to me (laughs) once a day, maybe for an hour. Now, I feel like my technical knowledge for a person of my advanced age is good to advanced, Mm -hmm. but there are still things... That I just don't get. There was there was a line in Microsoft Word yesterday, and I know how to get lines out of Microsoft Word. I know all the tricks. I couldn't get rid of it. Hmm. Why is it there? What is it doing? I finally just retyped the whole section and deleted it. Hmm. Some kindly 20-something could probably say, oh, Mrs. Morrow, here's what you do. And I would say, thank you. <laughs> this is a good camp. Or why does this thing on the internet not come up the way I like? Or do I really need these things? And they would like, every day there would be a session. Not insulting my intelligence, but just saying, yeah, that stinks. Here's a workaround. This I would love. You know, and so maybe another session for the same thing around your house. How do you fix, we've talked about wishing we knew how to fix small things and going to YouTube. Perhaps there could be something like that. And perhaps there could be, a room you could go in and sit in a comfortable chair and just watch a closed circuit camera of your home and how your family was doing without you. And really, any time you needed it, you could go. I first thought I might want to spend the entire week of camp there, but really, no. it would be too frustrating to not have any to see it, but not have any control. Yeah. But just every now and then to see, do they miss me? How are they doing? <laughs> just see if they're clothes? just like moping about. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you Mom. want to let them know what time you'll be doing that so that they can perform adequately but um also the the just like sort of drying out from social media would probably be good mm-hmm. i could not do that at home they would have to like take my phone on the way and like like frisk me for other devices right but, uh, anyway these are some things that i could see do i would like to walk a lot too i would want to have a mom camp in a place where i could take a lot of good long walks Yes. Possibly with a person to hold on to because I fall now, but still. <laughs> Walking's fun. What would you guys want to do at mom camp if you could do anything? Well, first of all, it would need to be like glamping, you know. Uh, I, <laughs> yes, that's true. I want the... <laughs> indoor plumbing, please. <laughs> indoor plumbing and like a clean and, you know, the the shower and the bath and the toilet need to be like... Nice. So Mm -hmm. that would be step one. Yes. Yes. Um, Goes without saying. (laughs) Yes. Uh, But yeah, I would like to take walks. I would like to catch up on reading and Mm -hmm. TV. I would like to... Hammocks. Lots of hammocks. Yeah. (laughs) Hanging to read. That sounds good. I would definitely like a hot tub. You know, Hmm. this is something that Hmm. I you know, pine for at all times. (laughs) (laughs) A personal hot tub for each camper or would you be okay with a communal hot tub? 
Um, I'm okay with a communal hot tub if it's, again, if it's clean, like the rest of the <laughs> camp has, I've already stipulated has to be. <laughs> so That's right. Maybe you can pick which campers you wish to boil with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think I want, I, I might want friends at this camp. Like, oh, that would be great. Um, you know, just friends that I don't get to see often or hang yeah. out with too much. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we could all go to the same session of, of right. mom camp. So that would be fun. Um, you know, I certainly don't want to have to cook or clean or purchase food or anything like that. So mm-hmm. that all has to be part of the camp experience absolutely that that is provided good food not the kind of food you'd give to kids (laughs) right and definitely (laughs) no egg salad i am still traumatized (laughs) how about you nicole what are you looking for at camp that's a hard one um well i'm gonna i'm gonna raise Catherine one and i'm going to insist that it is a hotel (laughs) 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 five star four to five star hotel (laughs) please and uh a suite not a room (laughs) (laughs) nicole you need to you need to watch the movie let them all talk and see the suites on the uh oh on the cruise ship yeah yeah, Queen Mary, I think. These, like, two-story suites. Mm-hmm, I've on, seen on, those. On the cruise. Yeah. It was just, I was like, okay, that could be my camp. Well, and I think that I was, you know, as I was thinking about this, I was like, yeah, like, something like on a cruise, because everything is just, like, there for you. Right. <laughs> you know, because right. I want, like, I want options. I want, uh-huh. okay, first of all, I am not dealing with food, so I want all my meals cooked and delivered. Okay. Um, I want uninterrupted time. I don't want anybody to ask anything of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, that sounds do lovely. not yes, ask please. me to even get up and answer the door, because I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so I want total, So you need like, a butler. I do a butler, (laughs) but one that I don't see and feel awkward around, you know, like just somebody that just does these things. An invisible butler. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Exactly. And then I just kind of want like options, you know, like if something's happening, then maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. Mm -hmm. Um, Not really into crafting. Um, Yeah, I don't. Just trying to like I don't I don't even know what I would do in my downtime anymore. <laughs> right. I just feel like I don't have it, so I don't. Uh-huh. Um, probably yeah, eat good food, sit out on a patio, just luxuriate mm-hmm. basically. Yeah, I need a patio. I need a nice tub. I mm-hmm. need like yeah, a patio with a view. Um, this sounds like a very pricey camp, Nicole. <laughs> saving up all your pennies. <laughs> I know. Maybe it's just a cruise. Maybe I just need another cruise <laughs> <laughs> by myself. <laughs> I don't want to walk. There's no walking involved. <laughs> <laughs> I might, if you provide me with like a Peloton, I might do that. <laughs> oh. Do you like people to carry you about on one of those sedan chairs? <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's like a scooter or something. But <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a little worried about a scooter on a cruise ship, honestly, because I would probably just drive it over the side. But yeah. <laughs> a motorized uh, chair of some sort would be fine. Yeah. I just, I think I just don't want to be bothered with anything. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, and also a doctor yeah. on call 24-7. Oh, yes. <laughs> honestly, doctor camp would be a thing that could make somebody money. Totally. You just go and for one week... Anytime you say anything, a doctor is immediately there and will give you an opinion. Yeah. That. You can just an like opinion get, that you like. <laughs> that you like. <laughs> yes, you could say, I don't care for that opinion, doctor. Do you want to try again? Oh, well, how about this? <laughs> would take you seriously. I would yeah. honestly enjoy being taken seriously by a doctor for even a yeah. day, even one visit. So. Yeah. That, that could be a thing. Yeah, no. That's fun to think about. But I definitely... I definitely am not going to suffer. <laughs> if I'm going to pay for a camp, 
I am not going to put myself in a position of suffering. Yeah, no mosquitoes, no sunburn. So when the camp application comes and it says suffering, no suffering, Nicole's going to check the no suffering box. Exactly. I'm I'm not going to go through any hardships to be at that camp. (laughs) (laughs) I've done that enough in my life. Thank you. (laughs) Yes, you sort of lived the camping experience in your early days, didn't you? Yes. Yes, over and over again, and <laughs> I'm not having it. <laughs> I went to dude ranches. <laughs> yeah, you did. That sounds way more fun than what I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was my experience of roughing it. We weren't a big camping family. Yeah, that's funny. Dude mm. ranch. Yeah, well, I think we have lots of ideas for we do. whoever wants to put this put <laughs> this together. Sure, y'all. Right. <laughs> Somebody has to put this all together for us because we yeah, certainly are not going right. to. Absolutely not. That's it for today's round four. Tune in tomorrow when we'll share our Friday recommendations, but this time we're giving orders instead of shouting out stuff we like. 